Hi guys, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.com and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to be building the mass package for our 2D Endless Runner game. So to get started we want to go up to Source, right click on that, New, Class, and we're going to call this one Vector3F. And we're going to put this in the maths package. Um, so we'll click Finish once you've done that come down here and this class is basically just going to be a way to represent um, coordinates in our game and these coordinates are going to be represented by floating values so float x equals 0, 0.0f and duplicate that float y and float z and next we're going to want to create two distinct constructors the first one is going to be public float vector 3f and it's going to take in float x float y and float Z and it's going to set the fields we initialized at the top to equal these new parameters. So this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, and this dot z equals z. And the next thing we want to do is construct an empty uh, constructor. So public vector three f, and that's all we need. Okay, and the next class that we're going to need to build is the matrix four f class. So Again, come up to your mass package, right click, new, class, and call this matrix 4f. Okay, so the matrix 4f um, is going to store our matrices, and the way it's going to store these is a single one dimensional array of floating point elements. And the reason I'm doing this is because OpenGL actually prefers you to pass in single uh, one dimensional arrays so to get started we're going to want to go public static final int and size and this will represent the size of our um, matrix array and then public float array and we're going to call this matrix equals new float and pass in the size Okay, so again we're going to want to create another empty constructor. And the next thing we're going to want to do is create uh, a method that's going to return an identity matrix. And this matrix um, identity is, um, is basically going to look something like this. Um, so you can see ones at every pos position on the diagonal going downwards. And to get started, we need to declare the matrix we're going to be returning. So matrix equals new matrix 4f. Come down here and matrix dot. No, we're going to call this returned matrix. Or return mat. Return mat equal dot matrix and zero plus zero times four equals one point zero f. Duplicate that and and here it's gonna be one and one, two and two and three and three. And the next thing we want to do is return this newly created identity matrix. So return return mat. Okay. Um, so then, now that we've done that, um, we're going to want to create some functions that are going to allow us to translate, rotate, and multiply our matrix. Um, so the first one um, is going to be translate. So public static matrix 4f translate and it's going to take one in a uh, vector 3f um, so first we need to create the matrix we're going to be returning again and we call this one return mat again equals identity ok why is that not looking An identity identity Okay, and the next thing we're going to want to do is to add 
the vectors 3f dot x dot y and dot z to the appropriate um, positions in our matrix. So return mat dot elements zero plus three times four equals vector dot x and one and two. So oh, that's not working. Um, matrix, matrix, and matrix, and that should be working now. And again, we're going to want to return this newly created matrix. Return mat. Okay, and what this um, function is basically going to do is take in a, ma a vector and then add it to the appropriate places in our matrix array. Um, and if you need, if you don't understand what it's doing here, then uh, I suggest you check out some of the the mass related videos on YouTube um, just to get your head around. Um, matrix translation because um, it's pretty vital knowledge if you're going to be doing game development so the next um, function that we're going to be building is the rotation matrix so public static matrix 4f and rotate and this one's going to take in an angle ok so same again matrix 4f return mat equals identity there we go. And we are going to calculate the angle by doing float r equals float math dot to radians angle. Um, okay. And next we're going to um, calculate the cos and sine values. So float cos equals float math dot cos r and float sin equals float math dot sine r ok and again we're, want, we're going to want to um, set the element the appropriate positions in our matrix array to equal these new values and um, so return mat dot matrix zero plus 0 times 4 equals cos and I'm just going to duplicate that okay so this this matrix basically takes in a uh, matrix and rotates it by the angle given as one of the parameters, and this rotates it around the I think it's the z axis, I believe. Um, I have to double check that, but um, this will basically give us our two D rotation. And once we've done that, we can move on to multiply. So public matrix 4f multiply and that's going to take in a matrix 4f we could call this mat 4f ok so again um, you can call this one result actually this is nicer matrix 4f and we're going to want to do some crazy for loops x is less than Four x plus plus and duplicate that and have it go in the y. Okay, float sum equals zero point zero f for int e equals zero. E is less than four. E plus 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 equals s dot elements x plus e e times four times matrix dot elements e plus y times four. 
and oh, it's meant to be matrix. Um, yep, map four f dot matrix and this dot matrix. Okay, and once we've done that, compute the result. Result dot matrix x plus y times 4 equals sum. And then once we've done that, you're going to want to return this matrix. Okay, so basically what this does is it multiplies the matrix by the matrix passed in. And matrix multiplication is quite a complicated um, thing to do. So um, basically, I would suggest again that you go on to a YouTube video and see exactly how this code is working um, because I'm not really that good at explaining it. But um, that is all for this tutorial and um, in the next tutorial we're going to be constructing um, more utility classes and the shader utils class. Um, so if you found this tutorial useful at all then please leave us a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers!